Hello everyone. I'm Rashmi here. I'm going to discuss about some natural phenomena in this video. In this video, I'm going to discuss about only lightning part. Lightning. It is a spark, but on a huge scale. It is caused by accumulation of charge in clouds. Spark. A small fairy particle thrown off from a fire. Alight in ashes or produced by striking together two hard surfaces. If we rub two stones together, we get a spark. Causes of sparking on electric pole when wire is loose. See on electric pole when the wire is loose, we get a spark. Blowing of wind and shaking the wires. When the wires are loose and the wind is very fast or harsh, these uh, wires are shaking and it uh, makes the spark. Looseness of plug in its socket. When the plug is loose, uh, we get a spark. What lightning is? We all know how cloud is formed. Clouds make lightning. During summer, the sun is hot. It makes the air hot and the air moves upward. And cold temperature at the highest cools the water vapor and from the clouds. More and more water air goes up, the clouds get bigger and bigger. If the temperature above falls below freezing points, it forms ice. The clouds become thunderstorm. During the development of thunderstorm, the air current move upwards while the water drops move downwards. This movement causes separation of charges. The positive charge collect near the upper edges of the clouds and the negative charge accumulate near the lower edges. There is accumulation of positive charge near the ground also. When the amount of accumulated charges become very large, the air which is normally a poor conductor of electricity is no longer able to resist their flow. Negative and positive charge meet producing streaks of bright light and sound. This process is called an electric discharge. The process of electric discharge can occur between two clouds, cloud to cloud lightning, cloud to air lightning, and clouds in between the clouds and the ground, that is cloud to ground lightning. Charged objects. Some objects can be charged by rubbing with other objects like balloon with woolen cloth and empty refill with polythene. Positive charge. Charges acquired by a glass rod rubbed with the silk is called a positive charge. Negative charge. The charge acquired by a silk cloth is called negative charge. Static charge. The electric charge created by rubbing is called static charge. We have taken two inflated balloon and hung uh, with the thread on the scale and charged one balloon with the woolen cloth. And uh, this balloon is not charged. We see both the balloons attract each other. And in this case, we have rubbed both the balloons with the woolen cloth and we see both the charged balloon repel each other. And we have taken one empty refill and rubbed it with the polythene bag. And uh, we have taken one balloon and rubbed with the woolen cloth, we see Different objects, charged objects, attract each other. And here we have taken the scale and bits of paper. It's not attracting. And when we rub the scale with the hair, we see that it's attracting the pieces of paper. In this process of charging the refill and plastic comb, polythene and hair also get charged. Do's and don'ts during a thunderstorm. During lightning and thunderstorm, no open place is safe. 
Hearing thunder is an alert to rush to a safer place. After hearing the last thunder, wait for some time before coming out of the safe place. If we are outside, open vehicles like motorbikes are not safe. Open fields, tall trees, elevated places, shelters in parks do not protect us from lightning strokes. Never carry an umbrella during a thunderstorm. Stay far away from trees, poles or other metal objects. Do not lie on the ground. Instead, squat low on the ground. Place your hands and knees with your head between the hands. This position will make you the smallest target to the struck. Inside the house. During a thunderstorm, contact with telephone cords, electrical wires and metal pipes should be avoided. It is safer to use mobile phones and cordless phones. Bathing should be avoided during thunderstorms to avoid contact with running water. Electrical appliances like computers should be unplugged. Electrical lights can remain switched on since they do not cause any harm. Lightning conductors. Lightning conductor is a device used to protect buildings from the effect of lightning. A metallic rod taller than the building is installed in the walls of the building during its construction. The other end of the rod is connected to a copper plate placed deep into the soil. The rod provides easy route for transfer of electric charge to the ground without harming the building. Electricity and its types. Electricity, the directional and continuous flow of charges is called electricity. Types of electricity, static electricity and current electricity. Charges are at rest and do not move in case of static electricity and current electricity charges are in motion. If you have any doubts or clarifications, feel free to contact me via my email. Thank you everyone.